The best thing about Pokemon Sword and Shield is the amount of memorable characters the game introduced. Not only did characters like Leon, Hop, and Bead have a lasting impact, but also the gym leaders as they were a crucial part of the story, more so than the other games outside of special cases like Giovanni. With that being said, let's answer the biggest question everyone has. Who is best girl? Here are the top 5 girls in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Number 5 is Nessa. Controversy aside, Nessa is an extremely attractive gym leader. Arguably the hottest water type leader we've had. I'm sorry Misty, we still love you. Being the water type gym leader earns her a lot of points as water is not only one of my favorite types but also one of the best types in the series. So she's a wet dream for all you water type fans. I promise you I'm definitely not the first person to make that joke. Design wise I really love her hair and outfit. Her outfit is both sexy and hell and appropriate for her gym as it's perfect for swimming and surfing fitting for a water type leader. She also has two flotation rings on each of her sandals which is a really nice touch. Her hair is amazing as it blends different shades of blue beautifully and flows into a waving motion which can be seen in action when battling. Also despite her calm and composed attitude her faces when you beat her are hilarious and meme worthy which could represent the water as it can easily go from a calm flow to a severe tide. Amazing design, cool demeanor that can change quickly and using water types, Nessa is a high quality Pokemon girl. For number 4 I went with Melanie. Originally Melanie was going to be below Nessa on this list as I own Sword and didn't actually meet Melanie. However, after doing some extensive research I have found a crucial part of Melanie that gives her this spot. What is that? Well, she's a MILF. Yes, she is Gordy's mother. She is following in the footsteps of other MILFs like Ash's mom and Lusamine. Gotta MILF them all. Design wise, she is thick, 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 thick. Thicker than a thick fat wall range, she has two glalies for her chest and thighs that could kill anyone fortunate enough to go in between them. Never mind her Pokemon, she herself is Gigantamaxed. Her hair is also very long and she has lots of it. Her outfit is also really elegant as it is simple yet beautiful winter wear. Apparently she got into an argument with her son Gordy and her training style reflects that as she is tough with her Pokemon and as cold as the type she uses. Melanie sets a new standard for Pokemon most with her tough training style and thick is all hell design. She gets the Kakyoin seal of approval. Number 3, Marnie. Now hold on, before you go calling the FBI on me, this is going to be... Wholesome. Marnie is a pretty well written character. She is a younger brother of Pierce who is my favorite character in the game and also wants to become champion. The villain team, even though they aren't really villains, Team Yell supports her all the way and they are very, very adamant about cheering for her and causing trouble as long as it's in her benefit. Though she gets annoyed by them, she does appreciate them for supporting her on her journey. Despite her stoic demeanor, she is a very competitive trainer and enjoys battling. And of course, I can't mention Marnie without bringing up one of the cutest scenes I've seen in a Pokemon game. That is fucking adorable. Design wise, she is cute, yet her appearance also fits her preferred type, which is dark. The black hair and coat represent her stoic nature, as well as the aesthetic of Spike Muth, while the pink mini dress shows her more relaxed side. A very simple design, but one that also stands out. Marnie is a great character and one of the standouts in the game. Love her, appreciate her. Join Team Yell and shout her name. Number 2 is Sonya, the first Gala character to make fans around the world nut many times, Sonya is a character that surprised me while playing the game. At first glance, I thought she would be overconfident and somewhat condescending to the player. However, from the moment you meet her, it's very clear that she will do whatever it takes to aid the player in any way she can in order to uncover the mysteries of Gala's legends, which shows that she is a very determined person. She is also Professor Magnolia's assistant and granddaughter and, well, gets ear beatings from her a lot. She doesn't deserve them though as she is a very helpful and pleasant character. I enjoyed every time she appeared on on screen and talk to the player. Her presence makes you feel comfortable in a way due to her kind nature. On top of that, she is also very attractive. Like the others on this list, her attire is simple yet unique. The teal blouse and brown trench coat oddly mesh well together along with her orange hair with hearts in it, which I find pretty cute. Sonya is my favorite professor aide since Bianca and I hope we get more fun characters like her in the future. Only one honorable mention this time around, that is Olina. I actually think her design is very attractive, but not only that, her backstory is actually kind of sad, as she was poor and her only friend was a trubbish, hence the Garbodor in her party, which contains many beautiful Pokemon such as Milotic and Frostlass. For a kid's game, Pokemon really knows how to hit you in the feels. She also invented the Dynamax Band, which is an essential item that revolves around Dynamaxing, aka the main mechanic of the games. Though working for the real evil team of the game, she is still a good character and underrated girl. And finally, number one, and if you watch my past videos, it should come as a surprise to absolutely no one who my number one girl in the game is, and that is Bea. Yes! One word can sum up why I love her. Muscles and feet, but mostly muscles. This girl is jacked. But are those muscles just for show? Nope. 
because like the type of Pokemon she uses, she can also kick ass and is known as Galar's karate prodigy. Having undergone intense training from her parents, she is often emotionally reserved and calm even when her back is against the wall. Because of this, she doesn't smile often, but when she does, the inhabitants of the universe come together for a moment of peace to see this precious event unfold. So while personality-wise, she is a calm and collected martial artist, there is a good reason for it, and also she's not totally devoid of emotions because she does know how to smile when she wants to. Now let's talk about her magnificent design. She looks the part of a fighter as she she is barefoot, wears knee pads for protection during her training, and also a glove on her right hand along with her Dynamax band. The short gray hair makes her appear serious, and the three colors of her uniform, which are black, white, and orange, all blend beautifully. Her hairband kind of looks like rabbit ears to me. I didn't like it at first, but it looks cute now that I've seen it many times. And of course, the most important aspect to her design, her muscles. Oh yes, her muscles. Those abs and overall toned body make her look ready for both Pokemon battles and MMA fights, and while the player may win the former, they stand absolutely no chance against her in the last. Bea is an overall awesome girl, and while we do have another female martial artist gym leader in Maylene, Bea's stoic personality and more toned appearance, as well as her reputation of being the karate prodigy for the entire region, gives her the edge in my book, although Maylene is also a very good girl in her own right. I didn't play Shield, so I don't know how good of a character Alistair is, but I'm so glad the version I got had Bea in it. I love my muscle waifus, okay? Bea, you very much deserve your spot at the top of this list as the best girl in all of Galar. And that was my top 5 best girls in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Let me know in the comments what your list of best Galar girls is. Also, let me know what other games or series I can do a top 5 best girls list on. I would love to read your ideas and use them for future videos. I'll see you next time. Peace, have a great day.